Welcome to Get Lockered. I'm Nancy. My buyer Jesse and I shop at the Goodwill stores and yard sales and estate sales and other resale and thrift stores. And I buy abandoned storage lockers when I can find them at a reasonable rate. We also accept donations at the store at 217A West 7th Street in Augusta. And all in hopes of being able to find treasures that we can resell, I can resell in my store for, um, I, I look it up on eBay sold and I list my items at one third, well, I price them at one third of what they are on eBay. That way you can come into my store with the intent of purchasing an item and you can take it home and you can add two thirds to the price. Uh, for example, if I have an item for $3, you can take it home and you know before you even leave my store that you can list it on whatever selling platform you use. eBay would be $9. Poshmark would probably be $12. You know, whatever platform you use or you could resell it on an auction site or however you want to do it. But you know you can profit off of what you purchase out of my store. So, please come on in to the store and, or if you see something in one of my in-store videos or on any video that you see that you would like better prices of or better pictures of, just message me and I'll be more than happy to take better pictures for you and um, if you purchase it, then... I can ship it to you, send you a PayPal invoice, and ship it to you, and um, we can go from there. So, thanks for being here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, welcome to Get Lockered. I'm Nancy, and I'm at 217A West 7th Street in Augusta. For some reason, my video recorded without sound, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover on this one. We're going to look through the store and see what kind of items I have available. Let's go into the salt and pepper shakers. Um, they're mostly, they're set at $3 to $4 a set. And those are New York souvenir salt and pepper shakers. Back here are some pretty little black kitties that Jesse brought into the store. And I just think this little set's so cute. If you're going to serve breakfast in bed, you can set it on the tray. And then down here, I have some other little items that are... I haven't got that shelf filled yet. This is a lamp for $13. And the only way to turn it on and off is to plug it in. And this is a set of $4 Apple decor um, candlestick holders. And then I have a bamboo basket back here. And this one is a fruit juice picture, pitcher. And, or you can put water or whatever on your, on your dining table. This apple actually sold out of the store, so it is no longer available. I mean pumpkin, I'm sorry, excuse me. And then I have my iridescent skulls. This one is $5. And this cornucopia candle holder set has a really cool kind of tie-dyed orange and yellow candlestick that goes in it. it is so, I think it bleeds a different color, but I don't, don't quote me on that. And then I've got the pumpkin trinket dish or nut dish or whatever. And then I have the Celtic skulls. One is just regular Celtic emblems, and the other one is Celtic in flames. And they're so cool. And I like the red eyes. 
they're just beaded jewels and then I have the black iridescent and white iridescent uh, skulls also and then the iridescent pumpkin that goes behind here and the pumpkin welcome sign it's got metal pumpkins on the top you could use it for Halloween or for uh, just the fall and then this is a set of four they're kind of a styrofoam gold plasticky gourds and this when you just want to squeeze somebody's skull you, that's a squeezy thing and Jesse brought in this Thai ghost it's a beanie baby and then this is a mid-century modern deco bowl uh, I call it candy corn bowl it's seven and a half inches wide and I found it on eBay for $99.99 but it's in the store for $20 and we're doing savings days so on Tuesdays and Wednesdays you save 5% off and Thursdays and Fridays you save 10% off and this skull actually sold out of the store it's not available anymore and these are flickering candles and back here is a little harvest it's wood um, you can set it in your and this I think came from Dollar Tree but I bought it at the Goodwill it's only a couple of dollars in the store these are actual metal pumpkin paperweights or app metal pear paperweights I'm sorry and then back behind there is a glass apple this is very cool I like these paperweights they're they're really good size and then this is like a it holds a tea light candle and I'll replace the candle I didn't realize I hadn't already replaced the candle I'm sorry but I will replace the tea light candle in it as soon as I get to the store on Wednesday and this is a pumpkin trinket tray and this is a set of four uh, turkey napkin rings with two turkey candlestick holders that are in the box as well And then back here is a set of really cool owl salt and pepper shakers. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Pop? Now, I found these little trinket trays at um, the Goodwill, and I already had the vase out of a storage unit, and they look like a good pair, so I put them together. And this is a set of antique teacups. And this is called a Tiki Glass and it's iridescent and then down here we have the fruit bowl that is good for the fall and then a thankful and blessed sign and a little kids pumpkin carrier um, deal and then right here is a little girl's pair of tights or maybe adult I don't know what size but I know they're purple and black tights and then some can uh, flashlights now this is a set of four five goblets that are skull shaped and this is a set of six these have red rims around them and these top ones have purple rims around them and then I have a set of four skull shot glasses that are sold separately or you can buy them all together it's up to you and then this Halloween uh, shadow waves it lights on the side of your house and it's only three dollars in the store and then over here I have a stemless wine glass that is just um, project glasses it's, it's blown but it's a project art glass and the owl day of the dead coffee mug it's so cool I like it and then this see how it's kind of a bluish green color it's a banana tray and then you lift it up and it completely changes color in the light it is just so cool it goes kind of from green to blue and I just love it and then this is a Mexican margarita glass it is a uh, hand blown with the two different colors blue swirl in it Yeah, I'm trying to read the tag on it out loud to you but for some reason my cord and this is a vintage hand-painted lusterware that's what I was trying to think of lusterware and this is a swung glass candle holder 
and down here is a little cherub it'll stay in when I do the winter Christmas type um, deco it's not eight dollars in the store it is I think only two or three dollars and then this is I can it's Gottinger metal it's kind of a silver plate but it's a really cool trinket dish with the with the uh, it's vintage very vintage and then this is a tea light candle wax melt thing you put a tea light under it and then it melts wax and then here's a sunflower bowl and this is another candle holder a candlestick holder for a taper candle not a taper candle a, you know the little candles and this one back in the day they used to sell kerosene and you used to get a free oil lamp with the kerosene now I'm gonna have to pull this down to show you it looks like it doesn't have any wicks for it and one of my customers actually told me it didn't have any wicks but when I pulled it down and started to take it apart I found that it has brand new wicks inside of it and it's like it's never been used and it's antique and it's by Rayo is who who makes it and you just fill it with kerosene and it it's a you know kerosene lantern but it, it's very vintage and it does have a couple of dents in it where it's been dropped or whatever that's why it has a replacement uh, flute on top of it and then I have my glasses and things and this is a it's it's made out of rock or something it's really heavy it's you know if tears were memories Kara you should get that for your little doggy to put by his urn and then the life memory treasures uh, it's another little rock deal I think they're two dollars each in the store and then I have this little angel and then this is Mrs. Wright and Miss, or Mrs. Always Wright and Mr. Wright. It's really cool. You can just turn it whichever way you want it. It's fun. And then this little wooden deer basket and a little metal wire basket behind here. Here's a set of six Hummel pictures that they're very small. They're only about five inches tall each. And I think the whole set is for $10. And they are each one signed. And then I have these two little candles that that I think they might have come from the Dollar Tree, but I got them out of a storage unit, so you know I'll put them for sale in the store. Um, so this is just a little cool fall candle, and this is a winter mouse. He's so cool, and from Transpac. He's a little. I think he's like a porcelain type ceramic little mouse and this is a do-it-yourself Christmas bulb I found out of a storage unit you saw me find that cleaning out my storage this is a turkey shaped gravy boat it's so cool and this is and it's for ten dollars and in front of it is the La Vie uh, elk or gazelle and you can see the different other animals in the patchwork and this is a set of three little leaf shaped fall decor you can put your plastic silverware on it on your on your dinner table at Thanksgiving or whatever and I think it's like three dollars for the set and Emmy made these really cool little you can hang them on your keychain or hang them on your Christmas tree and then this is a very cool it's heavy metal shelf sitter and it's very nice it's a, a copper colored angel but it is a heavy metal and um, she's playing the violin and then more glasses and this one is a it actually does have the empty Bushmills malt whiskey bottle inside it's a square bottle in a round so you actually can put a square peg in a round hole. So 
Um, and then this is a crocheted starched angel. It's very pretty and very delicate. And then this is made out of corn husks. It's really cool. CJ found it at the Goodwill and thought it'd be fun for decorating for fall. And then this is an angel and playing the mandolin with her two cherubims. And this is a oyster shell and wire angel. It's very cool looking. She got a pearl head. And then um, a Disney Donald Duck stocky. Now these are Dickens Village houses. Some of them are plastic and some of them are paint your own and some of them are ceramic but they're two dollars each in the store and you can pick and choose how you want them and i think i have more to bring into the store actually come winter time and this is a very cool it's a, a snowman christmas ornament but it's kind of like a talavera um but it's not Talavera. It's not. It's just an art pottery piece. And this is a very pretty piece on earth snow globe with the with the uh, nativity inside of it. And I don't know what this was for, but it's a glass. And when I looked it up online, it has value. So, um, but it's a canister set. You could use it for whatever and that's a picture frame and this the reason this water is discolored is because it's been sitting in the sun somebody sat it in the sun and the sun will discolor whatever it is that keeps this water and the glitter separate um it discolors in the water and it is a music box i don't know why it needs batteries because if you wind it up it plays but I'm thinking it's possible that the angel inside may spin around, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't put batteries in it to find out. And here's a, a tube of Christmas balls. And this one is party light. It's a tea light candle holder. And then I've got the little metal bell here. And then the little bear on a sleigh. And then if we turn around... I have all my jewelry. It's two dollars a piece, um, unless otherwise marked. I do have one necklace that's nine dollars uh, in the store. I have angel brooch pins, and all these watches work. They are all running in the store currently at this time, and they are two dollars a piece. So if you're looking for a nice Christmas gift for somebody, just come on in and grab them a nice watch. We have ladies' watches and gentlemen's watches. And they're all running currently. I don't know how long the batteries will last. I don't know how old the watches are. And then we have earrings and brooch pins. And hanging up above here, that's a tie clip. And then other brooch pins that are angels and such. And then necklaces and, and earring sets. And um, I put all the earrings on little cards so that they'll stay together. And um, these are plastic, but they're cherubs, and they're they're so cool. I think they're they'd be cool for Valentine's for wearing them. And real actual vintage jacks back there, the metal kind that hurt to step on. These are for holding potpourri, but I found out you can put the scent beads off of your laundry soap. You know the the laundry scent inside them, and they smell really good. Just give them a shake in it smells helps smell them and then there's more earrings here there's i found that there's some stones missing out of these i may just um toss them because nobody's i don't think anybody's going to want unless you want them to put on a wreath or something if you're making a wreath and these are vintage monopoly pieces i have the luigi painter's hat and the mucky fireman's boots there and this is a belly button eyebrow or some some body part ring and then other ear really pretty earrings in here and down here this is a lidded sugar canister for eight dollars and there's another one back there it's two or three dollars i don't know and then this purple tea set is 
um, that's where you hold your tea bags and then the other side is um, where you put your tea bag wrapper or whatever and then this is when you take your tea bags out of your tea cup and it's where you rest them so they don't leave stains on the table and then I have other trinket boxes here this is just a purple egg it's just so pretty so and it's really pretty so and other trinket boxes and powder boxes and, uh, the Singapore orchid has sold out of the store since this video was made so it's no longer available it was a real orchid in resin this is a Blanco paperweight it goes from clear to amber it's very pretty and then uh, this is a seashell that's very pretty I didn't see any damage on it this is an art glass uh, hand blown uh, stingray it's very cool it's I'm gonna say $15 this is party light it's a crystal and it's got a little purple thing in the middle of the cross and it's a tea light candle holder I'll put a tea light in it I just brought some into the store this is Raku and it's a seven dollar guardian angel it makes somebody a perfect little Christmas gift and um, she can sit on the shelf or after you blow out a taper candle she can sit on top of the taper candle and this is a monster mule mug um it's copper and see mule mug for monster drink and you can see the m for the monster on the side of it very cool and this is a black iridescent swan i just think it's so gorgeous and um, it's eight dollars in the store this is a Hershey's mold somebody has purchased and they painted it and it's really beautiful and it is it looks like two dollars in the store um, it's from 1980 I don't think yeah I'm taking there it goes I'm taking that off because I know it's more than two dollars in the store this is a canister that still has its um, labels on it and then this is a very pretty serving it's called a serving bowl but it looks like it could hold a pitcher it's oval shaped it's not round like the normal ones and this is a piece of art glass I thought it was Murano when I bought it but then I got it home and it wasn't it is a $30 piece of art glass but I paid $15 for it so it's for sale for like 17 or 18 in the store it was my mistake so yeah it's $18 there in the store yeah if you turn it over like this it just looks like a lady's hat it's really pretty but if you turn it over like this it can be a um, candy bowl or, or something this is just a pretty little basket uh, that I got out of storage unit or donation and then this is a fall um, thing this is another one made out of the corn husks it's made in China CJ got it for me I got to put his little waddler back on the top there it's on it's just put on there with a, a straight pin or something I don't know what holds it in a little piece of wire and then the brass set that we've got for sale and it's Thanksgiving's coming so get your trays and your turkey boats and your creamers and sugars and ladles and and what do you need in the store you know this is for sugar pouring sugar out and then this is a serving dish chafing type serving dish that you can heat up the bowl and then bring it in and set it down in the wire basket these are some cool sun catchers that Jessie brought in when she was out doing her thrift shopping this is LED lights I don't know how to hook them up so I don't know how to test to see if they work um, they look like they got some kind of a memory chip type thing on them so I, I don't know what they would be for unless you use them on your computer or something and then this is a last supper plate that uh, has the gold trim around it it's very pretty and then Jesse brought in this beautiful little hummingbird that hangs over a mirror and then this is a really cool little if you collect um, 
carousel horses like many people do. Um, she's very pretty. And these are just little plaques. You can put pictures in them or whatever. They're 50 cents a piece in the store. And every, if they've got the little white tag like this, that means they're listed on my eBay store. And you can go on eBay and purchase them right off of eBay. And I have flower frogs and butter dishes. And um, this is a hanky tricks. Um, it's a folded up handkerchief from Carol Silver. And it's folded up handkerchief. And there, it tells you how to do um, tricks with the handkerchief. And then I have the milk glass. And this is Fenton glass. It is for $20 in the store. And a turtle flower frog. I like turtles. It's a turtle flower frog. And then this is a spoon rest. It's in some other language. I'm sorry, I can't tell you what La Porte is. I think it's French or something. But it's a it's a spoon rest. And then I have the teacups back there. And these are, um, what are they? Highball glasses or something? This is black something. I can't remember what it's for. But I can't remember the exact name of it. And I didn't show the writing very well but it's a creamer and then I have other little serving dishes and creamers here this is from Hull it's a very cute little creamer it holds like a cup and a half of cream this is a weighted paperweight it's a little Shih Tzu dog very cool and then I have casseroles down here and all of this set right here is from France it's like all one big large set it came from my landlord uh, the store landlord and it is all from France you can buy all of it you can buy part of it um, please come in and buy it please down here is a set of three canisters I really like this with the corner cup and those are soup bowls you can heat up the soup and or pour the soup out of your pot and put the lid on it it'll stay warm at the table and then there's other uh, coffee cups these are um, Libby glasses a customer asked me to purchase her some Libby glasses and then when I purchased them her mother had gotten her a eight piece set so um, and this is a cool little giraffe cup I just loved it CJ found it at the Goodwill we didn't notice a little flea bite chip right there on the back of the I don't know if you can see it but there is a little flea bite chip on the back of the rim so but it, this would be mostly for decorative only uh, anyway so um, but I, I love the coffee bug and it's really cool and then the Donald Duck glasses and then there's Bugs Bunny and that's a very vintage uh, like 65 year uh, anniversary Donald Duck I'll show you right now here is the plush that goes with it it is a uh, celebrating 65 years of the feisty Donald Duck and um, it's a plushie that commemorates the 65 years and then behind here is the Woody doll uh, she's $40 in the store which means she's a I found her listed for 120 on eBay solds so um, yeah she's up on the top shelf so she doesn't get damaged from young people who love to look at these things then I have a few Barbies for five dollars a piece and some Disney picture frames this little um, Jesse doll right back here it it sold out of the store the other day so it's not available and then I have more Donald Duck and then I, here's my Ray Dunn and this is a very pretty iridescent bird uh, right here and next to it is a tape dispenser that's a mallard duck that Jesse brought in it'd be cool on dad's office desk or something and then more Ray Dunn I just love Ray Dunn and it's coming up Christmas so the the Christmassy themed Ray Dunn is very perfect and then these are um, these are spode the ones before that were pioneer woman and tomorrow I will do a video of going through each and every one of these uh, Indian plates they're they're all named and are signed and numbered and they're not all David Wright but uh, 
Some of them are paleos and say are Perillo, I'm sorry. And they are they're all numbered and I will go through each and every one of them and show you all 45 of them in tomorrow's video. Hopefully my video will have sound. And so I am out of time, but stick around for tomorrow's video. I'm Nancy at 217A West 7th Street in Augusta. I am across the street from the Casey's and behind the Taco Tico. And oh, let's go to the back. I want to show you my glowy glass. I got new um, black lights and it sure helps my glowy. Now, I measured the cabinet to be 26 inches. I got 24 inch black lights and they're still too long. <clears throat> and then these are the white. Um, you saw me find one of these purple things in the not purple. You saw me find one of the heart shaped ones in my and that one is actually pink. And a biscotti deal and the blue frosted tulip glass uh, compote. It's very pretty. I love it. And then the more glowy glass and then this light. And I have actually hooked up the lamps. They do actually work now. Uh, they did work before. I just have them actually plugged in now. So you can see them working. And if anybody needs a walker, I have walkers. And I have Vera Bradley. The best thing about Vera Bradley is you can throw it in the washer and wash it. And then I have a longer burger basket or purse there and other items on the shelf. And that's the hanging bird. You saw me when I was going through my storage unit. I didn't think that the chain goes with that. And then when I looked it up on eBay solds, it did have come with the chain, so I brought the chain back and put back on it. And so I'm saying 217A West 17th Street now. Um, we're having savings uh, sales, so come into the store. And if you can, if you want to message me an email, I'll be happy to send you pictures and send you what I have. Thanks for being here. Thank you.